question on color vectors. And our first vector A is 1, 4, and B is 3, 2. We want to write down as a color vector. That means our answer is just going to look like one of these things in vector form, except we've got to do A plus B. So the advantage of color vectors is when they're written like this next to each other, you can just read along the top and read along the bottom. So across the top you get 1 plus 3, which is 4, and across the bottom you get 4 plus 2, which is 6. And that's how we have to write our answer. 4, 6. We did the same thing for 2a, so let's just write it out. Two lots of our a vector plus three lots of our b vector. And all that means is we kind of multiply it out. So for the first vector, we do 2 times 1 and 2 times 4. That's 2 and a. Either on our second vector, we do 3 times 3, which is 9, and 3 times 2, which is 6. Now we can go back to that nice adding rule where we just read across the top. 2 and 9 is 11, 8 and 6 is 14. So our final answer, 11, 14. Now part C, uh, so part B is about this grid here. It says vector C is drawn here, and it's given us a picture which would mean 3 and 2. So if we were writing C in vector form, it would be written 3 on top and 2 on the bottom. OK? So it means 3 across and 2 up, and it means in that direction. So it's going across to the right and then up. If it's going down or left, these numbers might be negative. I want to write the vector. I want to draw the vector 3C. Well, you can think of it in two ways. Either you think of it as doing the vector uh, doing the vector C three times. So you go three along, two up, that's once, three along, two up, twice, three along, two up, three times. Or we can do what we've just done before up there. Three lots of three, two, which three times three is nine, three times two is 6, and then we can just draw that on our grid. So we can start back at the beginning, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up. So 9 across and 6 up is the same. So if I just, sorry, the tool was just going to appear. Uh, and then I can just get this. So it should go, oh, got my arrow going the wrong way. Let's choose the other one. So it starts here and it's going up there. And then we've got our vector. See, if you want to just make sure just draw your little arrow in the middle as well, and that's three vectors C, and we're done.